I will start for today. I will uh, discuss a bit about the role of pediatric nurse and, and other health uh, professional uh, in health promotion and health care management for early childhood. Today, most of my lecture we will share, okay? Because we want to know in your country what they do as well. Maybe in our country, then they do different from your country. And then we want to take, we, we as you and me, okay, want to take opportunity to exchange the idea, okay? So just exchange idea today, okay? The lecture, uh, I give you some material. That is, you can, I think you can search from computer. But in Thai, in Thai, in Thailand, we not publish in Thai, in English. Just a little bit public in English is public in Thai language. So if you go to internet and search it, you may not find it. But if something that links between healthcare prof professional in Thailand and COVID-19, it has a lot in English because this during during uh, COVID era, you know, uh, we perform how to uh, care the people in Thailand really, really good, really well. And the people got infected from COVID-19 really, really just few, okay? So how we done in Thailand and how you done in your country, maybe today we have to exchange, okay? From the law of professional care, okay, healthcare, okay? So for the law, for, uh, law of the pediatric nurse, uh, I will focus much today, just, you know, Okay, just uh, I will point a lot to the role of school nurse. Okay, nurse will work with children, that is, and then I will talk a lot about health volunteer because I'm not quite sure in your country do you have a health volunteer or not, then how they work. And why uh, COVID-19 uh, is improving in Thailand? They work a lot and work hard. So how they work, I will talk this, okay? Focus this a lot. Okay. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the role of pediatric and community nurse who work for early childhood care. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I think maybe daily care, provide daily care. I think same as your country because nurse have to provide daily care, right? Look at the first one, you know, nurse, right? If they have some mark on the or the head is a nurse, right? But if they were in community, then they may not wear a hat. In Thailand, they wear a blue t-shirt like this. Look at it, blue t-shirt. And this is, this is me, I think maybe, this is me. But you can see me at the back, and this is me. Look at that, this is a Jan Wan Vimon. And this is me, really fat. <laughs> Look for this, okay? This this is last year, or oh, maybe two years ago, or three years ago. We took them to uh, observe our uh, primary care setting in Lano Province, is in Songkla Province, and they asked them how they work, how they do, what is their job, something like this, and what if they have extra work to care for kids, for, for, for children. 
we have to interview they interview but you know uh, we have to translate from Thai to English for them okay and for nurse I will focus much community nurse because they were in the primary setting so for the nurse they keep okay, provide the care so as if children are sick okay they go to the hospital and then they have to see the doctor and when the doctor give medication they have to keep shot but some work they can do freely for example immunization they can keep a shot immunization shot directly so they have to do like this okay if they have if they have minor six for example they have fever children have fever and then nurse can prescribe you know medication for example paracetamol for reducing fever so for the common drugs basic drugs nurse can provide them directly they don't need to wait a doctor however if they have some kind of complicate or you know they need to consult the doctor okay so from this nurse look at that this is a kid children can you see this hello can you see can you see the picture Yes. 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 From the picture, this is a community nurse. They work in primary care setting in Thailand. Children have to come to the to the uh, to the clinics in Thailand. You know, uh, for the first class, you learn from Doctor Vilat already. They talks about healthcare system in Thailand. And you know, we have like a hospital, Florin Hospital, District Hospital, and then we have some kind of primary care setting clinic. Okay. And, but uh, some big hospital in some, in, 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 in districts, they, they will have, you know, primary care uh, uh, clinics as well. And this is in the hospital when we take them to observe how, how they care. Okay, this is and this is in the in the uh, maybe village. Okay, this is the village. So we have like a small office allow a Thailand, and then the the major work is to take care of children. Is you know to give immunization, to record, to monitor immunization. And then keep provide care a bit, okay? Uh, plot, they have to monitor plot development, immunization, nutrition, something like this, okay? Uh, and this is monitor, okay? Plot developments. So for the nurse, community nurse, they have to understand the child development state. And then they have to use the de development tool to measure for the development so i'm not quite sure in your country what uh, nurse work but here we have you know we have the smp assessment tool nurse ha have to know and understand how to use the developmental tool and then uh, for the earlier year, in the past, we used Denver tool. This is for maybe America, right? Ajan, Ajan, Pismai. Denver tool is from America. Yes. Yes, it's from America. And then uh, we use this to to measure, okay? To measure, to monitor child development. And later, we modify the Denver tool that fit to Thai children development and they, we create another one we call DSPM. This is Thai too, okay? And this we will teach you when you, Ajahn uh, Ampai Pon will come to lecture you how Denver tool use, okay? Uh, maybe next week 
And then when you come to Thailand, we will ask you to practice how to do Denver tool. You can use these instruments and measure child development practice real in the real situation when you come to Thailand. Okay? And then we will show you a bit about our tool as well. This is like the book, but in Thai language. The books, this, okay. This is the book uh, for nurse, for uh, uh, people, for father, mother, parent to use to keep record, okay? So to keep record the development inside, they explain how to use these instruments, okay? And then you, you can learn, you will learn, you will learn uh, next week. And this is like the, the, the bag, okay? The pocket inside, they have many, you know, two, many instruments inside, okay? To measure, this is like a kind of tool inside to measure uh, child development. And then Ajahn Ampai Porn to, uh, to show you inside, what is it inside? But now just, I keep it a secret and then you will know later. If I show today that you were not interested when I done a Python lecture, okay? Just keep it here in the back. And this is for cloth developments. I don't want to show the little picture, just uh, search it from internet. Because if I use the little picture, I have to close their eye, okay? To close the, the, the children's eye, we have to protect for the, the rights of their children, okay? Except some that put in internet, I can draw it. So later, when I show about healthcare volunteer, this is the little picture, because that picture, it show from internet. So you can draw it and you can use it, okay. This is a nurse role or nurse job is to monitor and measure child development, okay. And they have like a, a record book like this, okay, record book. And, okay, not just only provide care, uh, uh, or keep uh, immunization or, you know, uh, 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 record or monitor about child development. Another work is they work like a teacher and educator. And this is because the previous all, you know, defy health promotion as a process of enabling people to increase control over and to improve their health. So health teaching is really important to provide for the parents and kids, okay? To know about the uh, uh, health, their health. So they will provide information about immunization, safety, dental care, socialization, and discipline. Not just only this, this is just it example they has a lot of work more than this. this is i will share with you later after i finish the law of nurse okay and this look meet with the parents and talk and give them uh, information exchange some idea this is another you know this is another issue. I want to know about your country, what community nurse do in your country, share with me. This is just, just, just a bit of it because I will focus on, you know, community that is health volunteer, okay? So let, let's share idea. What, what in your country, what nurse do, community nurse do for early childhood? Well, in the case of Nicaragua, the Northern uh, uh, Act in the childhood protection in the, in the first moment in the pregnancy, they 
uh, kept uh, the the pregnant women and try to to give all the the medicine for prevent a uh, malformation or another sickness. And after that, we we took we we got uh, uh, the children for uh, four years, and we are following and evaluating the the growing and the nutrition. And we we use a similar uh, table for for measure of the development and grow, uh, growing. Okay. And what 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 instrument? To, what the tool? in your country you use to measure child development do you have some tool some instruments yeah yeah we have we have some some tools i i, I was th i was thinking uh, to share it by by google classroom because okay. we have a, a handbook in electronic format and the nurses and 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 the students and volunteers can use that and and we have two important periods the first period ends is in April. We have the national campaign of vaccines, and we apply vaccine of all children, and and take measure and evaluation of the neurological, neurological, and and physical development. And the second um, important measure is in the month of October. Is after the 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 people take of the of the countryside, uh, countryside, uh -huh. the planted food, and it's like the moment, like the children is in the in the best uh, growing, and uh, we took that measure and apply a uh, preventive medication for a uh, uh -huh. uh, parasite or something like that. Okay, this is very good. Let's uh, the your instruments that it translate to English already, or it's still in your language. Well, this instrument is in Spanish in a regional language like Mayagna and Miskitu, that is uh, two, two important autonomous regions in my country. This is in the Atlantic coast. And mm -hmm. the nurses and doctors and some volunteers of the community have the material in the native language. And it's like uh, not only to take measures, we try to educate the people and how to play with the children and how to uh, uh, get food adequately for a uh, age, uh, age and uh -huh. and educate about the importance of vaccines and another uh, temporary medication. Okay, that's 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 safe at Thailand because in our country, community nurse have to provide information and this system in the in the community as well okay and measure and monitor and then they have to teach people right how to monitor how to uh how to how to say how to advise them to use the tool and monitor for child development as well same just just you know just uh type okay let me know about your 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 country works and in any other country you want to share? Um, uh, uh, can I speak? Okay. Iman, Iman, yes. Um, here in Egypt, uh, uh, there is no such a term, but uh, there, there is similarities in, in some way. Um, I, I'm a pediatrician, so uh, before uh, I began my career uh, as a pediatrician, I was in a healthcare unit uh, as a GP. Uh, we have in our uh, uh, rural areas uh, mm -hmm. a, a health care, a small health care unit. Uh, every health care unit has uh, uh, at least uh, four or five uh, rural pioneers. They are nurses. Uh, mm -hmm. They are uh, uh, they are responsible for uh, fam they, they form um, basic family health center. Um, they uh, communicate uh, all uh, all the ladies of uh, the village uh, or the rural area they uh, participate in. Then they uh, educate them about uh, uh, how to uh, 
past their uh, pregnancy period, uh, how uh, how to uh, measure their progress uh, after they uh, after the delivery, how to take care of their uh, their children, education about the schedule of uh, our vaccinations, uh, how to measure uh, their ch uh, child growth uh, and etc. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, they. Uh, the role uh, mainly is about education, so uh, we can consider them as the community nurses. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You add some prevention, yes, for for community elders. Community nurses have to do that. Okay, Sandy, 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 from where you have to tell your friend as well. Sandy, my I'm from Honduras. Okay, Honduras. In Honduras, our nurses play a very important role, especially uh -huh. in immunization, 5% or more for immunization in our children. Okay. And uh -huh. we use an, an immunization card for uh -huh. every child when they're born. Okay. Where if they get to hospital, uh -huh. if they are in a hospital, they get their vaccination card in, mm -hmm. at hospital. But yeah. if not, they have to take their babies uh -huh, uh -huh. after 10 days. Uh -huh. And in, the, in every province where they uh -huh. take the, their babies, they get a vaccination card. And after that, nurses get every corner of our country uh -huh. to apply vaccines. So that's how we get a 95% coverage at vaccination. Very good, very good. Because we have we have uh, immunization liquid as well, okay? And we have in the primary setting, I mean, a small clinic there. And they have uh, from hospital when they go back home, right? Children are born in hospital. And then when they go back home, they have a card, immunization card, right? And they can go to primary setting and continue uh, to get taught. Sam, yes. okay. all vaccines are for free. All, all the vaccines that are in the immunization card mm -hmm. are for free in the whole country. Ah, oh, okay. In Thailand, uh, vaccine is free as well for eight vaccines, okay? That is the basic vaccine. Okay. Any other who, who, who perform, okay. nurse uh, perform different from us, you know? Okay. Uh... Not, not just no, only some vaccine, okay? Not just only vaccine, because we will have vaccine lec lecture. We will focus on nurse law, okay? Okay, okay. my country, the Gambia, uh -huh. we actually follow the primary health care model. Uh -huh. In Goodwin, we have community health nurses that are stationed at the community level. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, at the community level. So they work together with what you call uh, volunteers, community volunteers, you call them. In my country, oh. we, call them, we call them village health workers. Ah, that's These cool. village health workers are not paid by the government. They are chosen in their communities, respective communities, mm. and it comprise of a male and a female. Mm. The female takes care of the... Uh, maternal issues okay. and male exactly yeah so they work together with the community health not at the community level so oh. in every district there is a health center or a health post mm -hmm. so the community health uh, nurse works in co collaboration with the health facility for them to oh. control in specific villages they call them primary health care villages that are man is village health uh, workers. So they carry out uh, uh, community work, like in the case of immunization, health promotion, and mm -hmm. so forth. That's, that's how we upgrade. Yeah, we upgrade in our system, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Then we will talk, same as us, we will talk later about the health volunteers, okay? And then any other two of two off idea, two more idea from your country that you perform different from us? Well, well madam. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, let, let, let me share later, okay? Let me share later. Let's, uh, 
Sonam, 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 They, so they do regular visit to villages. Uh, sometimes they do home visit also to give health education regarding all those things. So we have, I mean, our Bhutan is targeting to have uh, zero mort uh, maternal mortality rate. Actually, it's big high in Bhutan, so we are planning to reduce to zero, but it's still, uh -huh. it's kind of challenge for us. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know Bhutan, you know, because uh, the King Chikmi, the King Chikmi. Uh, yes, madam. In the past, they, they came to Thailand. And they, in your country, I think you respect our King Lamanai as yes, right, madam. Like the king there as well, <laughs> right? And yes, then, madam. Uh, king yes. Chikmi came to Thailand several times and learned mm. about our King way. Okay, madam. Yeah. I know, I know, it's almost similar. Okay, uh, you are uh, Pisces, 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 and, 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 and uh, the rest of you, if you want to share some idea, you can share in the classroom, okay? Google Classroom. Pisces, Pisces, share again. Okay, yes, here in Zambia. Um, huh? Hello, Hello are you about to get me? Yeah, 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 I can, I can hear you. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, so here in Zambia, me being a nurse and a midwife, uh, we are the ones who work with the community health workers. They are just like uh, volunteers. In, on each and every health post clinic, uh, there, is, there must be a nurse and a midwife. Uh -huh. So we are the people who work with the community health workers in terms of uh, health promotion when it comes to uh, the children. We are the ones who work with them. The uh -huh. community health workers in our country, they help us uh, in monitoring those mothers in their communities. Uh -huh. In case they are facing any problems health-wise, they're able to assist those mothers to the health facility where they can be uh -huh. handled by a nurse or a midwife. Okay. So most of the times we work with them in monitoring the kids. Uh, we also have a children, um, child health week. Every year we have it uh, twice mm -hmm. where we promote um, health services and we make sure that each and every child, even in the rural areas, in the remote mm -hmm. areas, is able to access all the health services. Mm -hmm. All the health services that they can't access. Maybe... It's uh, the place where they stay is far from the facility. We follow them as the nurses and the community health workers work hand in hand. Okay. It's the same. Yes. Yeah. It's almost the same as Thailand, you know, but something may be different a bit. When you, if you, you are choose, chosen to come to, to Thailand, you can observe us how, how we do as well, okay? And then we can share experience later when you come to Thailand, okay? I mean, just 20, okay, participants, okay, 20 participants. I want all of you to come, but you know, we have limited seat, okay? 20 participants, okay? But I, I love this class because you are energetic, okay? Share your idea, okay? Very good participants, okay? Let, let me talk another little, another uh, a role, that is the good nurse role, okay? I'm not quite sure in your country, do you have a uh, uh, school nurse in, in, in schools, in Primary care schools, do you have? I'm not quite sure, but I will talk a bit and then we will uh, share, okay? We will share uh, what, what they do in your country. Okay, this is a row of school nurse. Do you have, I'm not quite sure, we have first aid room in school, in uh, primary care. Uh, that is, uh, in Thailand, let, let me explain you a bit. In Thailand, uh, school, they have a, a kit, they have a small kit 
uh, study there. Not study, I think maybe they, they have to write a promos for child developments. We have like a daycare center. Day, daycare center, they have a small kid from six months, from three months, some, some, some daycare center, except, you know, uh, let, I mean, permit a children around three months and then they will have to take care in the uh, daycare center until they are allowed three to four years and then they have to move to the uh, kindergarten. So in the school, in the big school we have kindergarten, we have a uh, uh, school from uh, first grade until sixth grade, maybe first grade until 12 grade, something like this. So school, the big school that have, you know, kindergarten and, and, and uh, primary school there, we will have first eight rooms in, 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 in the school and we will have a nurse, a school nurse, but some school may not have, but they join with primary, primary care setting in, uh, in the city or some school they may uh, rent, they may hire, you know, they may hire some nurse to be the, in the office, maybe three days a week, something like that, okay? So normally we have first aid and inside we will have some basic medication and then if they have like uh, uh, accidents in the school, so nurse can help them just uh, provide basic uh, care and then for a school nurse they will focus much on developing education and get healthy for children so the job the laws that focus on health promotion and health education okay and they have to communicate with parents or family and community to participate in healthcare active service sometime. For example, if we have, if they have campaigns, vaccine campaign in the school, they will ask family, they will ask community to join with them. Or if some months we have dengue, okay? Hemorrhagic dengue fever, uh, at that season, so we ask parents, they ask community. So like they work together for coordination between a school nurse and community nurse and, and, and the community like that, okay? So, but, but they focus much about education, okay? So they provide healthy environment, provide daily care as well, just minor illness. Let that I, I say earlier and uh, monitor and prevent like an illness, growth developments, immunization, communicable disease, obesity, nutrition, mental health, dental disease, something like this. They have to monitor for, for kids and provide physical, emotional safety and then communicate to the parents, okay? And if they have some uh, major injury or six illness, very ill, then they have to refer to see the, the doctor in the hospital or in family setting, family care setting, something like that. And this is the job of, of school nurse. So they, may, they have detail a lot, but you know, I just put, only some kind of the major, the major work of them, okay? And then another one is teaching. So they are the teacher as well. They go to classroom and teach about health education, okay? And coordinate with other health provider. In school, here in Thailand, we have, we have like a healthy teach, healthy kit, program so they will provide even though even though you know the daycare center they will ask they will invite dentists to come to check up for children okay in, in in the school 
so that they work better with with healthcare provider from another setting or from the hospital. And this is for school nurse, they have to develop plans or some projects for care for, for kids. Okay, this is for example, if that school, they have overweight in them, they have program to, to care for, for overweight, how they have to uh, reduce with something like that and 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 once uh, we have a master degree in our uh, school of nursing in our department so they create some application for children to reduce the weight as well or something like that okay so school nurse have to keep create the projects for improves the health of the children in school and then in Thailand, I'm not quite sure, in your country, we have a lot of licks, lice or licks, this is, they have to get, get the list of licks as well. I'm not quite sure in your country, do you have or not, but in, Thai, in Thailand, for early childhood, they have a lot, yeah, like this, and then maybe they have to get it of it around three to five times a year, but it still happen because when kids play together, right, they have to uh, lean their head together, something like this, so it's the, 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 the leak is, is, is in fact, it go to another children. And look at that, we have like uh, for cleansing, for keep children healthy, so we, uh, they have to plan and teach them about to brushing teeth, something like that, okay? So uh, in your country, uh, how they work, we will talk, but in Thailand, we have right on over the world, we have COVID-19 pandemics. And at that time, what school nurse do in Thailand, okay, that is general work for the earlier, and that is during uh, COVID era, okay? School nurse, what they do, okay, they have, in school, normally they have the plans to do for emergency planning for pandemics. Not just only COVID-19 era, but you know, on the beginning of this year, they have COVID-19 era, you know, uh, pandemics. So school nurses have to give the health education to uh, children. And they have to uh, because school closed for the earlier and then later school is open. It start to uh, take children to go to schools and then they have to have like a screening service, checks body temperature before they go to the schools. And when they back home, they have to check temperature and then uh, tell to communicate to the parents and then they have to teach children and archer how to wear face coverings, hand washings, and when they cough or sniff, they have to cough or sniff into a tissue and throw it into a bin, something like that. And they have to teach them how to do social distancing and keep physical distancing, okay? And this is, this is here, but this you know, in, in our daycare center, normally we do every day. We check and screen uh, children. We check temperature, we check mouth because we have like a mouth, foot, hand infection a lot. Not a lot, you know, uh, one times a year, once a year, something like that. But we have to check on of this. So you will learn from Ajahn Wan Mimun how we do in Thailand, but in the mornings, normally, uh, this is not a good nurse, but they was trained by a nurse, that is Ajahn, okay? Ajahn here, Ajahn work in the school of nursing, but school of nursing, we have daycare center, and then we have to train, okay? Train them to, the, the, the officials, okay, the daycare center officials 
to check up and to monitor on of this side of infection. So in the morning, they have to perform check up children, okay, before they go to the daycare center. And if they have some kind of fever, then they have to separate children, okay, from, from, from the rooms and then keep observing and if they have, they have still have a fever or high fever, they have to call to parent directly to take children home. Otherwise, they will suppress okay, infection to other children. Okay, this is new normal lifestyle. And this I try, you know, maybe some, some of your country kids because look at the, the skin, the, the, the color, maybe from PCS, maybe from PCS country. I'm not quite sure. This is, I check it from internet, okay? Teacher, even though they have tap, it don't have tap water, look at that, they still use water, okay? And then uh, teach them how to wash their hands, okay? And this is in Thailand we have like a tap water and children have to clean their hands uh, every day before they go to inside the, the daycare center or even though when they uh, play outside and then it's dirty when after playing they have to clean their hands and before they have uh, food they have meal and after they have to clean their hands okay we, we teach them and they have to do every day even though we have don't have COVID pandemic, we have to do this, okay, every day, okay, wear a mask, and this use alcohol to uh, discard some infection, some, some germs, and this is, it is maybe from Nepal, I'm not quite sure, <laughs> I search from internet, and keep this fancy, okay, 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 then we share school nurse in your country, what they do and during Hi. my teens. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, can I share? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm seeing it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from Eswatini. Uh, Eswatini uh, of Poland. <laughs> Okay, okay, you can share. Let's share. Okay. Uh-huh. So in, in our country, um school nurses are not really um in the schools. They go there maybe once a month or once a quarter because there's still a very small team. So each region we have regions uh -huh. which have a school which have a school nurse team and then they do growth monitoring immunization um uh, school uh, mental health uh -huh. and then probably deworming um in our country we have we've had um a, a problem with uh, <laughs> oh. with worms yes intestinal worms so they do deworming once a year once oh. a term or every quarter mm -hmm. so also they do not really go to preschools but only focus on primary schools and uh, high school uh, okay so we still have that gap in our country they do not go to preschools that much but they only go to primary schools and okay. high school okay no you know you know and then China. during covid sorry uh -huh. during covid uh -huh. um, what how how they helped is that they they trained teachers uh -huh. in preparation for opening of schools. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, and then they also help the schools, you know, to be ready for for for. Okay, they help the schools to be ready for school opening, and then monitor when schools are open. Our schools are now opened, and um, uh -huh. for the higher classes. So now. Um, the school health team is responsible for checking, going mm -hmm. around to check if um, they're observing, you know, the protocol, the COVID-19 protocol, like hand washing, uh, uh -huh. checking temperature, but they don't go there every day. Okay, okay. Do you have, do you have, uh, 
uh, uh, office, I mean uh, care office in the schools, the rooms, uh, if they are six, no. no, okay. No, it, we do not have um, an office in the schools, but we just when when the school when the school health teams come, they just use classrooms to check children to screen oh, them. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, because they don't go there every day, but they just go there maybe once every three months to check on them. So they do not really have oh. an office, but it they use classrooms. Okay, so so in Thailand, because the school they have a kindergarten, primary school and high school all together, okay? But some schools, mm. they have only kindergarten, but some schools, they have just only high school. And some schools, uh, we have daycare center, okay? So we have kind of uh, a mix in the schools, and we have why we have school nurse. Okay, but but yeah. some they don't have, but they will have like a room, a rooms. Uh, and then they may you know rent or not rent hire hire some nurse you know to be there maybe three times week, three days a week, something like that. Okay. That's okay. Very any good, other? Any other? Any other? Thank I you. Can I speak? Yes, Ima. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, here in Egypt, we don't have uh, 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 school nurses uh, too. Uh, we have uh, uh, physicians uh, that come from uh, primary health care centers. Uh, mm -hmm. They uh, provide follow up uh, for the uh, uh, nearby schools, uh, including immunization, uh, 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 Different common comorbidities like uh, anemia uh, or uh, parasitic infection, uh, as it's common uh, in rural uh, areas in Egypt. Um, uh, I performed this as a GP, uh, as I was responsible for a healthcare unit, a uh, primary healthcare unit. Uh, after I first, uh, after I finished my uh, uh, my. Uh, after I graduated, this is the beginning of uh, working as a doctor in Egypt. Ah, we uh, perform working uh, in primary health care unit as general practitioner. Ah, okay. uh, and we provide health care uh, for children in nearby schools uh, uh -huh. by monitoring their health status and uh, providing immunization. So we don't have a school nurses. Uh, uh, school nurses. Uh, also uh, follow up the nearby schools by uh, coming uh, two times a week at most. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, if there's, um, but if there's pandemic like uh, we have uh, here in, uh, in COVID-19, um, there is uh, another uh, emergency plan. Oh, okay. uh, here in Egypt, we, uh, we had lockdown. Uh, since uh, the beginning of COVID-19. So this plan isn't uh, officially applied yet, but uh, mm -hmm. there's an emergency plan, including uh, follow-up of, uh, of children and educating them like uh, you have done in, in Thailand. Uh, um, uh, and furthermore, I, I wanted to ask, uh, you, you hadn't locked down school during uh, uh, this uh, pandemic? You have uh, um, explained that you uh, teach your children uh, in schools how to um, personal hygiene and uh, uh, social distance and eat three. So you haven't locked down your schools? Yeah, yeah. You know, because, uh, this is I'm not quite sure you are you are you are, you are asking, but because because some some voice is turned off and on, okay? Turn off and on, off and on your voice. So, but this is like, from my understanding, you asked me about how a school nurse, right? Yeah, uh, uh, for, you for haven't COVID. looked down your schools uh, during this school during, months, during right? COVID era, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, school nurse have to teach children, okay? That's I present how to take care of themselves, how to cleansing, how to wear a mask, and how, and, and provide some information to them and teach them how to do it. And in so Thailand, the, you know. Yeah. So this Thailand, is not a future plan. You, you have already begun doing this. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have like we have not just only COVID era, okay, not just COVID 19 pandemics. When we have yeah. like, uh, others uh, disease pandemics, so we have to to have a plans, okay. So when when we go to school, they have to show us how they plans. Uh, they work under uh, uh, the supervision of the Ministry of Health. They don't work under the supervision of the Ministry of Education, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we, okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think maybe Adam and Lester, let hand, okay? Adam, I let you, Adam. Adam first and, and uh, later. Lester later. Adams, Adams. If Adam not here, then Lester, Lester, you can talk first, Lester, Lester. Yeah, share your idea, Lester. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, in Nicaragua, we have not the uh, school nursing. And in real, uh, Ministry of Health and Ministry of Education have any intervention between there. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's, it's really important the situation that you are chose because it's a it's a big lesson on how to work together mm -hmm. uh, because we we are the lost in one opportunity uh, in intervention with the young uh, child people uh, child uh, child people uh, ch with the children um, but uh, well, as yeah. university uh, yeah. now I'm coordinating the um, research and development yeah. committee yeah. In yeah. And, we are uh, working together with uh, 25 primary schools and so we are I'm teaching saying, to the I'm professors I'm how I'm to I'm act in this certain and emergency. Please, please, some of you, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, please stop. Why? Okay, Lester, okay. Continue, Lester. And, and we are working with the 25 primary school and we're teaching uh, to the professor how to act with children and the evacuation and attending some injuries in case of uh, ah. uh, disaster or emergency because in Nicaragua we had the, the biggest uh, um, volcanoes in activities and it's commonly the earthquake in, in our area. And mm -hmm. we are uh, teaching and, and especially with one school for mm -hmm. ch uh, children with disabilities. Uh, okay. And we are working with them for two months and teaching how to attend uh, respiratory problems and uh, cardiorespiratory attack, uh, training training day with CPR action. Uh -huh. and, but, uh, but after that, we have any intervention. Now the health minister um, yeah, have a, a campaign, a television campaign uh, teaching the children how to use face masks and uh -huh. uh, cleaning hands yeah. with alcohol and soap and water because uh, on, Monday on Monday we start uh, classes in primary school because we we suspended uh, for COVID nineteen situation, uh -huh. um, but I think the it it can uh, support uh, the action for the university to extend the north action in the social service because uh, for us as a university if a north study five years for be a graduated north. She needs two years working in the community in the primary care, uh -huh. sometimes in the hospital. is based on the need of the local area. But mm -hmm. uh, the nursing that uh, uh, I, graduated, uh, I graduated from the university need to be two years in the community context, and they are evaluated for the health minister. Uh -huh. Health ministry, mm -hmm. and we, with, the, with your uh, experience, we can support they the needed to add the uh, interaction in between yeah. the school and the yeah. nursing and social okay. service. Okay, okay. Let's see. I will call Adam. Adam Adams. Okay. Uh, Ab Abdullah Adams. And then just share. You know, this is maybe you uh, listen from us, from many participants right now. And then what difference in your country? work with COVID era for school nurse, okay? Share what you done in your country and then different from us, from some participant who, you know, uh, talks about Hello? their country. 
Okay. So Adam, Adam, I think maybe uh, Abdullah, Adam, your turn, Adam. You raise your hand, right? You raise your hands. Are you there, Adam? Abdullah, most Adam. Are you there? You raise your hand. I see from the the screen. Okay. Can I share? Yeah, if, if you're not there, then Pacha, right? Pacha. Yeah. Thank you. Tell your idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm from Ecuador, and here uh, it's like a law uh -huh. that every school, every high school should have a doctor <laughs> or a nurse. It depends on uh, the amount of students. So in the big cities or all the cities, uh, we have in our schools a uh, nurse or a doctor uh -huh. that takes yes. care of the children or the teenager. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that in rural areas, like the outside country, uh -huh. we don't have no doctors or nurses to go uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. So and, and our government take a, a strategy uh, to um, doctors and nurses from primary care centers that are near to this, to that or those schools uh -huh. go once uh -huh. on, on a month or every two months to uh -huh. take care yeah. of that children. Okay. We um, uh, give examin uh, medical examination, visual examination in children. We, we uh, monitor uh, their development. Um, Sometimes give them desperate situations, um, but I think it's we need to do more. Yeah. But, but this is what we do now in our country. Okay. Uh, we have the laws, but we need more medical and nurses to to reach these goals. Okay. That's my experience here in Ecuador. Okay, Ecuador, right? Ecuador. So, you know, in, in, school, in Thailand, we don't have nurse school as well, but they work with the primary setting in that community and that they go to the school maybe once a month or twice a month, something like it. It's <laughs> not the same, but on school in Thailand, this is the, 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 the regulation. They, they should have first eight looms, okay? So inside the room, they have like a basic medication. And then uh, the teacher was, is the teachers are trained by a uh, nurse or by, you know, prof professionals, you know, health, health provider, how to provide for the basics, you know, basic care and give some basic medical care. But we have, this is like the regulation. We have first a loom in a spoon, but if, you know, major illness, they have to refer, they cannot do it. But at least they can provide for basic birth aid for them. Okay, and this is Thailand, we do this. And during COVID era, you know, school of nursing here, we have like a, uh, a professional, right? Professional nurse. We, at our staff, young staff, we go outside, okay? We go outside to teach the teacher how to perform, to protect themselves, to prevent themselves from COVID-19. Okay, so we go there, we go allow some club some school we go, but not a four schools, okay? We go some school and then teach them how to do it. And then later, teacher can teach their children very correctly, okay? They work a lot. Here, not just only kid, not just only teacher, they teach kid as well. Our Ajahn go outside, okay? And not just only school, not just only kids, we go to the hotel to teach the worker 
because look, our city is next to Malaysia, and Malaysia they have COVID-19 a lot of infection there, and the border they like to come to Thailand, so we have and stay in the hotel. So we have to teach the worker how to protect themselves, how to monitor something like this. We all go there, not just only schools, okay? So this is our responsibility as well. So at that time when COVID-19 outbreak, you know, pandemics, a lot of, you know, work for us. Because school closed, university closed, then we have to have a plan, a plan to teach, to give, to provide information about COVID-19 to people, to kids, to children, or something like this. So we do, okay? We do, this is an extra work. Not, not, not a teacher, not just a teacher in the university. So we have to, 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 to do this work as well. Okay? And this is us. And then uh, maybe Adam, Adam, you back? Abdullah, Mosadam? Abdullah, Mosadam? You back? You back? Right. You can talk. I think maybe he's asleep. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Abdullah. Hello? Yes. Can I shake? Yeah, Amani. You can share. In our country, the school nurse act as care of handicapped children uh, oh. by identifying child with handicap such for hearing or vision, epilepsy, mobility uh, difficulties, and arrange referral of treatment and support. And uh, ha uh, help the handicapped student to accommodate it with their uh, difficulties. Also, uh, guidance for health services for school personnel according uh, to their needs. Uh, in addition, the other rules of pediatric uh, uh, of school nurse in the emergency care and first aid uh, by the nurse is responsible to carrying out the first aid treatment for the injured due to accident and uh, if necessary transfer them to hospital uh, and be sure that there enough first aid equipment and supplies in the school to carrying out the first aid. Uh, also, the nurse uh, should arrange for in service training program for teachers interested in first aid. And finally, the very important role of, of school uh, nursing is an education, uh, can participation in parent counseling and simulated the interested with cooperation of parents in school health program. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you know, in Thailand we have we have handicap school. That's that, that is for just only handicap school. But for a well-being school, we we won't accept because we have only handicap schools. So they have. I'm not quite sure they have school nurse or not there. I'm not quite sure for this. But your Amani, you are your your country is very very good. Let, let me ask you, uh, do we have do we have a handicap school? Just only have handicap children. Or they, they, they learn with the well-being children? Amani? Amani? No, in separate classes, special classes with handicapped children. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we have as well. In Thailand, we have. But we, uh, each province won't have, uh, uh, every, you know, it, we have only some province, particularly in Bangkok, we have. Okay. But, but in the South, we have as well. But not not a whole a whole province, okay? Just some province here, okay? For handicap, this is very good, you know, because we give opportunity for them as well, okay? Then uh, if you want to share some some of you, you know, share in a uh, Google Classroom a lot, but it's a small letter. I cannot see sometimes, okay? But I see I see you uh, from Cambodia does not have. Okay, so I see from, from the, the chat, Google Classroom, I will go to read, okay, later. And, and some I will, you know, answer, okay? Maybe this afternoon I have time, so I will answer for this, okay? 
Good. Okay. Even though you can you cannot share from the screens, you can share from chat. Okay, chat together from from Google Classroom. So I will continue to another topic. Okay. So for schooners, almost the same. Okay. Almost the same. Just some uh, country don't have schooners. Some country has. If not, some country don't have. They will. Uh, yeah. They will have some uh, nurse go to visit school maybe once or seconds, uh, a, a second time a month, something like that. Okay, this is I think you talk some of you talk about uh, volunteer right here volunteer. Some of you talk about this a bit. So this is here volunteer. We call village here volunteer in Thailand. So we have this. This is we have to share a lot because the COVID-19 uh, improved because of them a lot, okay? In Thailand, we call village health volunteer or so more, okay? Or so more, this is we call. We set up in 1977, a long time ago. Now we have allowed one, high, allowed one million, okay? Or so more in Thailand allows the country a lot is they work very really hard and you know during COVID you know, 19 even though now they still work hard to monitor for the COVID-19 they act like a middleman between all the bridge okay they act like a bridge okay between rural residents and health officials Okay, this is really important because poor people sometimes don't know, don't have knowledge about health, so they know a lot. Or some rural people or local people cannot come to access for health, so also more, you know, help them a lot. Okay, so also more they work at a person to convey communicate medical factor and doctor orders to neighborhood, to the local people. So they act, the place they act, they act at the local clinic with nurse and doctor, and they act in the fields, in the village, okay? So they go home and visit them directly and almost every home they will resist them. Okay? And this is, you know, the symbol of also more. Okay? This is the symbol of them. They have a teachers and they have the symbol of this uh, in the, the uh, on on their on their church. Okay. So the role of help volunteer in Thailand that provide basic health information. So on when they register or to be also more or health volunteer, they, will, they are trained by nurse and by professional health provider about how to care the people if they have some illness, just can provide basic health information. And another law is coordinate doctor visit. So there are less responsibility for 15 to 25 household per one or so more. I will call or so more, okay? Healthcare provider or so more. There are less responsibility for 15 to 25 household in the village. So maybe one with village will have more than one or so more be, be due to the harmony of household in the village. Okay? And then they have another job that is strengthening public participation in the public health system. So they have to pursue it local people to join if we have you know some program or to join when they are uh, uh, 
when they want to the hospital, something like this, and helps bring people to the hospital in a small town area. You know, if you see the benefit of them, you will understand. Even though uh, for the past, we don't give benefit anything to or so more, but now we have because they are very important. They are very important. Okay, and they are helping us in recording some work. Okay, and see, this is the picture. Help nurse to check growth and development. This is this is them. Okay, this is the also more. This is also more. Okay, uh, they wear teachers maybe differently if they go to work, but in formal meeting they will they have a, a formal teachers. But this is for this is another another primary setting, another clinic. They wear maybe a different teachers. Look at that. This is a nurse. This is a nurse, and this is uh, also more, okay, also more, also more. The elders, okay, to measure height, weight, and when a uh, nurse keep a chart, they help them to less tense children, okay. They can screen, screening child developments, and sometimes they help family to create toy, okay, to global for health development. This is in Thai language, okay, but you can see from this English, okay. And some or village nurse will train also more to measure child development and monitor because also more live in the village and they know every household Right, they know how many kids are there in one house, even though they know the age of the kid. So they have a record of them on. And when they visit, they know what happens to this household, okay? And what they want, what the family need to promote for the kid, then they can give, provide some information. And then if they cannot help, then they ask nurse who less responsibility for this village to solve that problems. Okay, and this is, look at that. They help a nurse a lot. Blood feeding, this is awesome. Go to visit house, okay? And provide information, help them to blood feedings. And this is look monitor, okay, for kid developments, and then keep some food for them. If the child is under nutrition, they will provide food. But this is from the hospital, from the primary care setting, okay. So nurse don't need to go there every day because they have also more will monitor for them. And this is for nutrition, blood and nutrition. They observe kids who have malnutrition and then report to the doctor and nurse, okay? And this is the jobs, okay? Sometimes they help nurse to provide all of polio. This is also more. They can provide polio, all of polio, not injection. If injection, keep a chart that each community nurse do it, or some more cannot do, okay? But when they provide all of polio, nurse have to train them to do it because all of polio will spread to another kid. And they teach, they train them how to provide care if they keep all of polio and they have to visit house as well, children at house. Health nurse sometimes, look at it, this is also more, okay? How to train to less train kid when nurse keep chopped. Look at that, okay? And health nurse, this is a nurse, okay? 
How about during COVID-19 pandemic? What they do? This is really hard work. If we don't have also more, I think maybe 19, COVID-19 is not increasing in Thailand because they help us a lot. Okay, so why the COVID-19 situation is improving in Thailand? And then look, if you go to internet, our country is recognized from the previous all from UN that is the best country, okay, to stop COVID-19. What health volunteers do during COVID-19 in our country? Look at this. First of all, they have to monitor. This is their job. Monitor and protect residents and your local, okay, from virus. So what they do, they knock the door. In the village, right, they list one or some more responsibility for 15 to 25 house. They go to every house, knocks the door, lie away, checks temperature. Every family member, they have to check temperature. Ask them who travels out of the area or ask them where the people in the house or how where they go and how what uh, uh, what people come to the house from this area for example bangkok or they go to malaysia or overseas and come back to the village live in the house okay and then if somebody come from Bangkok, they have to ask them to stay at a state or home quarantines, okay? So they monitor on this. They work very hard. If one family in the house have high temperature, they have to keep them in the house, provide information, and then they have to let doctor know right away okay and then the doctor have to come to the house right away so the also more we have application we have application for also more to do this so they will monitor by putting information to the application and then the doctor will get this directly okay and then stick them up on door and then educate okay distribute some information distribute the pamphlet of high hand washings mask cover and social distancing we have the pamphlet okay and then they will give to each house every house will get the pamphlet from or so more and then when they knock the door, they ask information and then provide information for them that teaching them how to do it. If they have a kit, so they teach kids how to wash their hand, how to cover the nest, something like this, and give the pamphlet for them to list some more. And if they don't understand or some more give telephone number to them, then they will call to the or some more directly. And if one member in the house have a fever or have temperature increasing, they can call or some more directly. Okay? So look at that. They monitor on every house. Okay, so those information or some more get, they will send directly to a community nurse and the doctor. 
so they know right away and they can act right away from this procedure, from this perform, okay? Report a new case of infection to hospital right away, okay? Look at it, doctor door. This is in Thai also more. This is in Thai also more. Doctor door directly, okay? Look at this, measure temperature. This is also more, okay? In some village, they walk in the morning, they walk, knock the door every house, and they use application, okay? They use the application. We create the application for them, so they can put every information in the application inside, and it directly to the doctor and nurse, okay? So they know. I can give you an example, okay? Later, after this slide, okay? What benefit also more get? Look at it in the past, in the beginning of setting up also more group. The government never pay anything for them, okay? They never get something of benefit from this, but they work because of their heart, okay? Because they live in the community, they live in the village. On a member in the village is like a relatives because they know on right they know on they have the same culture they live in the same culture they live in the same norm they they do work with their heart but no benefit anything okay but later okay many years pass later they are they work hard okay and then they get a compensatory fee, just only at 600 baht per month, that is for the part, but now they get some more money, that's it, 1,000 per month. This is just, a, you know, a little bit money, and look at that, some also more, some village, they don't have a car to take also more, to take a local people, if they are sick to the hospital, you know, also more have to drive a car and then take people to hospital. They have to pay gas, they have to pay oil by themselves. So 1,000 baht per month, it's not much, okay, for them. But now in Thailand, we have emergency car every Districts, okay, so they can call or some more will call the emergency car directly from local government and then the local government can drive the car and take people to the hospital. Now it's getting better, okay, but they will get the benefit that it is if they are six, they go to the hospital, then one charge them, they can sit there for free in hospital rooms and meals, but just in the public hospital. And they receive trainings, okay? So we have many training for them, okay? It depends on the government, okay? So that are trained to do, to provide care, just basic care. For example, now CPR is very important for them, so they should have knowledge to do, to perform CPR, okay? Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And then for the government, or maybe from university, go to the, 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 the village to teach them, or they may come to our university and we train them to do it, okay? And then some, some, uh, some knowledge is a regulation from government, so they will teach them how to do. So they can give some to uh, people local. So this is our uh, uh, volunteer, uh, health volunteer work, and they give you one example, okay? They work hard, why they work hard, okay? Uh, we have like uh, uh, people, Thai people, they come, they work in Malaysia, 
and then they come back home because of COVID-19 pandemics. They want to stay in Malaysia and they come back home to Thailand. And then when they come home, they have fever and then they stay in the house. You know what, what health volunteer do? Knocks the door, you know, in the morning, you know, monitor, measure temperature and monitor on and ask them to keep in the house, stay in the house. Lunch, allow noon, lunch time, after lunch, they have to go also more go to that house, knock the door again, measure temperature, and then in the afternoon, they go again, look at that, really work hard, okay? If they have some, some people infected with 19, COVID-19 in that house, really work hard, okay? So why governments increase money, 1,000 baht per month, but this is just a little bit money, not much, but they do because, you know, they work from their heart. They want to help neighborhood to get, to improve health, okay? So this is also more, or health care volunteer work in Thailand and then not everybody can be the hair volunteer. You know, normally they have to village or people in the village have to nominate them to go to healthcare volunteer. Not everybody go there. If they don't have a heart to do for, you know, people don't, so they, they cannot uh, devote, devote to be a health volunteer. So this is the share idea again. I want you to uh, share. 